people start learning Swedish, it's super common for them to just translate the English present progressive or continuous form directly into Swedish, but that does not work at all. Nummer ett. Hålla på is a very useful particle verb that expresses that someone is doing something. Vad håller du på med? Vad håller du på med? What are you doing? That's how you can use it, but you can also use it together with och, which means and, and another verb to express some kind of present continuous form. Jag håller på städar. This means I'm cleaning. That's what I'm doing right now. Hålla på kind of has a connotation of like, you know, fiddling about. You're, you're doing this and that. Nummer två. In the same manner you can also use the three verbs stå, ligga and sitta to express the same things. But <laughs> in this case you have to actually be standing, lying down or sitting at the same time as you are doing these things. So for instance we have Jag står och diskar. Jag står och diskar. I'm doing the dishes. But literally I'm standing and doing the dishes. And you have to be standing while doing this as well. <laughs> Then we have han ligger och sover. Han ligger och sover. He's asleep. He's sleeping. But literally he's lying down and sleeping or sleeps. He's he he lies and sleeps. And then we have jag sitter och kissar. Jag sitter och kissar. I'm sitting or I sit and pee. Literally, I'm sitting and peeing. I'm peeing right now, so I can't take the phone call or whatever, you know. So even though the main verb here is that we are we are standing, lying down or sitting, the connotation is some kind of present continuous form. <coughs> and lastly, we just have the verb vara, which means to be. And we use this in the same manner with the conjunction och, which means and, And another verb. So, for instance, jag är och handlar. Jag är och handlar. It kind of means that we are away somewhere doing something. And in this case it means I'm away shopping for groceries. Grocer groceries. Groceries? So, for instance, if you're out and on your phone you can say Jag är och klipper mig. I'm... I'm away or I'm out cutting my hair. Or jag är och handlar. I'm out shopping. Whatever. But you can also use this when someone wants to get a hold of someone and you have to tell them that that person is away or out. So you can say han är och äter. The connotation is that he is away or out eating, having lunch. If, you know, if it's lunchtime, everyone will understand that we're talking about lunch. Click this video if you want to know more about common beginner mistakes.